What we see is this offers a capability to people who have to deal with danger, that they don't have to go as close. Perhaps that's bomb disposal, perhaps that's firefighting, perhaps that's people working with radioactive materials. What we're doing here is taking imagery from airborne assets, which might be manned or unmanned, and turning that purely from the imagery into a full 3D terrain model. And that allows the commander to assess things like the gradient of slopes for driving tanks and other track vehicles, also sight lines, so looking where the best positions for his particular assets might be. What we have to do is outsmart the opposition and we need to be more flexible, we need to be faster and to do that we need to tap into the amazing resources which you have in this country in science and engineering. But we need to be fast enough to be able to respond to an environment which changes so rapidly.